Good morning, modern steaders. You hear those birds chirping? That means spring is on its way. We won't say here, we'll say it's on its way. We gotta run out to town this morning and hopefully while we're out there, the meat birds come in. That's another sign of spring. I'm supposed to be getting uh, 30 meat birds today. So. Good morning, girls. You ready for some feed? There you go. I'll get you some fresh hay. Come on in, Hope. We gotta run out to town this morning to get some meat birds. That means you gotta stay in the back room. No, come here. Come back here. Come back in. Come on. You want your chaff hay? Hope. Come on. There you go. We'll coax you in with that. I know you want to be out with the big goats, but we won't be home this morning, so I'm gonna leave you back here for now. When, we get, when I get back, I'll let you out. You're balancing on that handle so you don't get wet feet. We'll be back in a little bit, Hope. Is that good? Huh? Is that good? I'm loving how much snow has been melting the last couple of days. So let's get some more rain today. That'll help melt some of these snow banks. And I'm hoping it'll fill up the rainwater collection system so we can try out the plumbing. You girls ready to come out? Yeah, the water froze up. There we go. Come on, Pluto. We got Figaro back there. Trailing Pluto. Come on. Going to meet a friend for coffee this morning, and I'm hoping while I'm out, I can get the meat birds and a few of the supplies we're gonna need for them. Morning, Jackson. Yeah, I was wondering if the meat birds were in today. The meat birds are in, guys. We get to go get them now. Look at those clouds. Post office must have been nice and noisy this morning. Yeah, there's <laughs> only one other box there for the
hope we can get home now before the rain comes so our chick feed doesn't get rained on. See some of our compost piles up there poking up from the snow. There's Figaro waiting for us. You waiting for us, Figaro? Don't you hear all them chicks chirping? They're not for you, mister. Better get the grain in before it rains. Those clouds are telling me it's coming. We're using an organic chick starter mash for the birds. Let's go let Hope out, Pluto. She can get outside for a little while before the rain comes. You wanna come out, Hope? Come on out. Come on out, Hope. There you go, nope, you're not going in there. Might as well come on outside before the rain comes. What's your problem, dude? Huh? Lose your attitude. Yeah, you. Just gonna eat your hay. You go to share. Sharing is caring, missus. Willow has such an attitude this morning. <sighs> and it's not just towards Hope, it's towards all the goats. It just started raining out. That puppy that was at the feed store we got our chick at, that is from the same breeder as Tanner. It's got different parents, but from the same breeder. I think she's about six months older than Tanner. So we're hoping that Tanner looks like her and stays around that same size. That dog is the reason why we got Tanner. Me and Olivia are at Trackside, our local feed store, and we fell in love with Olive. And then we found out the breeder had a litter. Get the light on, warming up the shavings for us. For our water, I'm using this automatic water from Coops and More. It's got a float in there, so when it gets low, the water automatically comes in. I got a five gallon pail over here. And I got the <clears throat> bucket of water filled up with two gallons of water, apple cider vinegar, and about two tablespoons of honey. I added an on-off valve. Starting to fill up. You hear them, Pluto? You hear him, Figaro? You know what those are, huh? So each one, I want to dip their beak in water so they know where that is. Get under the light, getting warm. They're walking around, drinking. 
They all seem very healthy. What do you think, Pluto? Huh, it's that time of the year. That means we get to be out running around in the field pretty soon, feeding all the chickens, huh? You love that time of the year. Yeah. And now we'll have Tanner to do it with us. I'll give these chicks a few days and then I'll introduce them to Tanner. Let them get settled in. They've been in the mail for probably two days now. We're going over to a friend's house tonight for dinner. So we want to bring over some kind of dessert. A couple of weeks ago, we made some chocolate chip with peanut butter topped muffins. And instead of using chocolate powder, we used cacao powder. They were good, but they weren't as good as the ones I've had from the bakery. So today, we're gonna to make the same ones, but we're gonna use cocoa powder. I also forgot to link the recipe last time, so there'll be a link in the description down below. And if there's not, just hit me on all my social media accounts and say, Hey, Al, you forgot to post the recipe. The recipe calls for two large eggs. I'm using three pullet eggs. That'll equal two large eggs. And I need one cup sour cream. Gonna need a third of a cup of vegetable oil. We love using avocado oil for everything. Avocado oil is such a healthy oil. I know some people don't like fats and stuff, but there is a difference between junk fats and good fats. And avocado oil is a healthy fat. All right, we got talking. I wanted to make sure I still had a third of a cup. We need half of a cup of milk. I wish I had our goat's milk, but we don't. Hopefully in like two months, we'll be milking Willow and get in the milk for ourselves. Oh, that'd be nice. We need one cup of sugar. Put our bowl in our old mixing stand. There we go. I'm gonna add in one and a half cups of flour and half a cup of cocoa powder. Two teaspoons, half of a cup of chocolate chips. We'll do one heaping cup of chocolate chips because we know Gina loves her chocolate chips. All right, that is perfect. 
perfect. I miss having my little helper Olivia here with me right now. I'm afraid that if I waited until she got home from school, they wouldn't be done in time. I know she's gonna enjoy eating them. So she'll be okay with me making it beforehand. Maybe, just maybe, we'll have enough so me and her can test one when she gets home from school. There's a little bit more, right? Maybe that one too. We gotta put peanut butter on top of them so we don't want them exploding out past the paper when we cook them. I like to clean the messes up on top of the muffin pans. It's a lot easier to clean it up when it's raw dough than it is after you bake it and it gets burnt on. I'm gonna take some melted peanut butter and drizzle it right on top. Bake them for 15 minutes. Let's do a goat check and see how all the girls are doing. They're all in the barn because it's been raining on and off today. What are you doing, Hope? They got you cornered? Huh? What are you doing? What are they doing to you, huh? You girls want some hay inside? Hey, buttercup. <laughs> Be nice. Oh, you're gonna wanna hide in the back, aren't you? All right, if you're coming back here, I'll give you some chaffee back here. I know. There you go. All right, I'll leave you in the back so you can get your own time. Away from all the bullies. The goats did really good the other day when it was nice out and they could all be outside in the barnyard. We had them together all day long. So we just need the good weather to come. Oh, the first batch is done. I think we got enough so we can have one for a snack before we go over our friends for dinner. Yeah. So I used regular cocoa powder mm -hmm. in these, where last time I used the cacao. Oh, yep. So I'm curious to see. Which ones are better? Did you like just make these? Mm-hmm. Mm. He's a good. Mm -hmm. I like these ones better. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. You guys should try making these. I think they're better than cookies. Tanner hasn't seen the baby chicks yet either. We have 30 and they're all meat birds. They're all doing really good. Can you see them? Nope. We'll show them to them tomorrow. We'll let them settle into their new home first. Oh, Can't forget the seaweed. Yeah, like you did yesterday. How's it smell? Um, like melted snow. Like melted snow? Yeah, 
that doesn't smell like seaweed. Oh, green grass! Girls ready for some seaweed. I know, you haven't had seaweed in a few days. We're gonna be leaving in a little bit, Hope, so I'm not gonna let you out, but I'll give you more chaff, hey? Does that make up for it, huh? Does that make up for it? I think you'll forgive me if I give you some chaff, hey, huh? Right here. There you go. That makes it all better, doesn't it? Sure does. There you go. Nope, you're still got a while. Getting close though, you're getting close. Not sure when she'll be having her babies, but it'll be shortly, I bet you. You girls are doing a good job over here. Hopefully we can move you in a week or two. That'd be awesome. Leave the wood chips outside. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Moose. Oh, I can't wait till we get to start working on our new barn. First step in order is we gotta wait for the road bands to get lifted off the road so they can bring in heavy equipment or just heavy loads. We gotta get some gravel brought in and get the old lane graveled so it's not so muddy. And then we can work on the site down there and then pour concrete and then build the barn. Come on. In case you were wondering, dinner was really good at our friend's house and the chocolate chip peanut butter muffins were a huge hit. Now we all want to have more of them. have to make them again some other time. If you're looking for a good little treat that's not super sweet, these are the muffins for you. Cupcake maybe? They're called muffins, but I don't know. They're in between a muffin and a cupcake. I like them better than cookies. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us. We need to all remember to embrace our weird. That's what makes us who we are. If we were all normal, that would not be fun. Let's got to remember that. Our weird is who we are and to let it shine. We'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.